Okay, first of all, that is not there. You don't see anything. Let's just pretend it's not there. Um, I went back to the dentist today and I got my second rewind. I got my teeth pulled December 15th. Two weeks later, I had my first rewind. I have not been back since then. So imagine how awkward that was strolling up in there like, <laughs> yeah, I need a rewind, uh, you think? So I got that today and I'm talking kind of funny because of it. When I went in and he put the material in and told me to bite down, I bit down and my mouth sunk so far into the dentures it was like not even cool my gums shrank significantly like I was about to say so bad but like really significant uh, shrinkage going on and um, I knew I knew they wouldn't really fit because um, in between applications of the uh, cushion grip like I'd mess around in the mirror like when I'd peel out the old product um, before putting the other product in I would put them back in my mouth and like <laughs> laugh about it because they didn't fit like not even by a long shot so when he put the material in and I bit down like it it just all came out like it it did not work it didn't go down too well so when I looked in the mirror like you could not see my bottom teeth at all like I was like uh, <laughs> I looked crazy and um so he had to put more in there and I you can look at me now and see if I'm just relaxing you can tell I could probably stand to have a little bit more on the bottoms and um, also the bottoms are crooked see that I can't it's hard to show you I mean it's really subtle but I think that um, one side I lost more um, well, I think it was this side, <laughs> not that. <laughs> One side, I lost more bone than the other side um, because the the state of my teeth, like um, some were like really down far into the bone and it was just awkward. So, anyways, it's about that time that I get my permanent set. Um, the reline, uh, as far as how I feel now, like, ah. Uh, they're so in there like they are not going anywhere it was hard even pulling them out without any kind of adhesive or anything um, so they feel really good they feel it feels oh, like such a relief um, talking I had went so long without having a reline and with uh, feeling my teeth being a certain way like sitting in a certain position that now that they're back up in there where they should be I'm having to readjust to talking because um, the back is kind of um, hitting back there and it's throwing me off a little bit like um, my K's again like because you know when you say when you pronounce something with a K the top of your tongue like hit, hits that back part yeah so uh, it's not a big deal it's not even very noticeable um, one thing I do recommend is that you go and follow up with your dentist um, regularly it was so stupid for me to go so long without going and just getting my relines because um, he had no idea what he was working with I mean he hadn't seen me since he pretty much extracted the teeth like two weeks after and so much has went on in there since that time like he was saying that it's best to like you know progressively make the adjustments rather than just you know all at once just total shock have no idea what you're walking into type of thing and also um, even though my teeth were in there pretty good with the cushion grip um, there was pockets uh, that it was uneven like it and it started to look noticeable like certain parts did not touch my gums 
Um, and the common sense in me says that that can't be good for your mouth because where it's not touching in one area, I imagine that the spot that it's touching um, is going to compensate and have more pressure there. Um, what I mean by that is like if your dentures are not fitting properly, like you know when you have a good fitting, properly fitting denture, it is there. It is making contact with every part of your the roof of your mouth and your gums. Um, a poor fitting denture is going to have some kind of gaps, and that's why it'll make the you know clicking sounds or whistling sounds or you know the squishy sounds because you know there's pockets of air in there. And so I feel like the parts that are making contact with the denture are having to take much more pressure, like to chew and stuff, to compensate for there not being any kind of contact between, you know, the pocket. And it's hard to explain. I'm sure I did a good enough job, so maybe you're following me here. It's just a really good idea to continue to go see your d dentist regularly so he can inspect your mouth and make sure everything is kosher. Uh, poorly fitting dentures um, can cause all kinds of sore spots and sore spots can lead to infections and um, all kinds of bad things. So, um, and you know, here's a good example of why you should just call your dentist. I was thinking that the reline was going to cost like 170 bucks, honestly. Um, it was only 100 That was it. So, I mean, it, w it wasn't even as much as I thought it was, you know. So just, yeah, don't, don't do what I did. Cushion grip is not meant for that. I mean, maybe it can extend, you know, a little bit, uh, give you a little bit more time between relines, but you should not be riding it out for eight months on cushion grips like on cushion grip like I did. It's just not cool. So um, within the next few weeks, I will be going back uh, to talk about getting my permanent upgrades, and I am really excited about that. I'm so thrilled. Um, these need to retire. They're done. Um, yeah, it's just time for a new set. So thought I'd give you guys an update and let you know. Um, oh, also, one more thing that I wanted to throw in there is uh, you can tell, like, even now I look a little different than I did when I first started making videos. Like, my face isn't as full. It looks a little bit more narrow. It's not as, you know, round and youthful looking as it was in the first several videos. Um, but if you look back before this video and you can look at the teeth and see that they started to take on like a different appearance. Like my face structure started to take on a different appearance. And um, I started to realize that like, you know, about a month or so ago. But I really looked over all of my videos and saw like with my own two eyes how much my face was starting to change from having poorly fitting dentures. Uh, they weren't filling my face out like they're supposed to. So that's another reason why you need to go back to your dentist because, you know, it over time you're not really noticing the changes that are going on there. Like, because you start to get accustomed to the way that you look and it's such a slow uh, change that one day it's just like shock factor when you see how you look compared to how you look now. So, um, yeah, just maintenance it's I mean like regular teeth you know you have to go for checkups and stuff like that well this is no different you don't just get dentures and stop going to the dentist just because you don't want to anymore I mean it's not that simple so anyways um yeah that was my update and um yeah I cut bangs in my hair to prevent myself from hacking my hair off um I have to have a change every once in a while so anyways take care